Hi everyone, in my previous video I explained about Kenizaro reaction. In this video I would like to explain about an Perkins condensation. So what is Perkins condensation is aromatic aldehyde reacts with aliphatic acid anhydride in the presence of salt of corresponding acid anhydride. Nothing but whatever the aliphatic anhydride we are using that respective acid salt we are using here to carry out the reaction and finally it gives alpha beta unsaturated acid is known as Perkins condensation. So in the simplified form we can write like this for easy remembrance for examinations. So aromatic aldehyde reacts with aliphatic acid and hydride in the presence of salt of aliphatic acid it gives alpha beta unsaturated acid. And another point here is whatever the aromatic aldehyde we are using so it should not possess any alpha hydrogens it is must be without alpha hydrogens it should not possess any alpha hydrogens so here aliphatic acid hydride it should possess with alpha hydrogens so aromatic aldehyde without alpha hydrogens aliphatic acid anhydride we are using it must possess an alpha hydrogens both are combined together in the presence of salt of aliphatic acid it gives alpha beta unsaturated acid nothing but a Perkins condensation. So coming to the reaction for aromatic aldehyde take example as an benzaldehyde for our simplified form take a word on the benzaldehyde as C6H5 C double bond O H nothing but benzaldehyde. This benzaldehyde should not possess any alpha carbon atom so it does not possess any alpha hydrogens. Take for aliphatic acid anhydride, take the well known example as acetic anhydride. What is acetic anhydride is CH3, C double bond O, O, C double bond O, CH3. This is nothing but the structure of acetic anhydride. So what is the salt of acetic anhydride? It is an aliphatic acid. So acetic acids respective salt we have to take here. What is the salt of acetic acid? CH3COONA. Nothing but sodium acetate. Suppose here we are using propionic anhydride. Here taken sodium propionate. Like that we have to use an aliphatic acid anhydride and its respective salt we are used to carry out this reaction. One must be aromatic aldehyde and there must be aliphatic acid anhydride. How to write down the uh, final product is here two hydrogen atoms CH2 uh, two hydrogen atoms from this carbon take this uh, oxygen and lost as an water and club this CH and this CH and finally club both the molecule C6H5 CH double bond CH C double bond O OH and up to this we have to write down the one compound along with that one there is a formation of any other molecules this nothing but an acetic acid so what is the final product we are getting carbonyl carbon adjacent carbon is always alpha next carbon is beta at alpha between alpha and beta we are observing an unsaturation we can name it as alpha beta unsaturated acid so what exactly the name of this molecule is cinnamic acid in examination they will ask like this so which uh, what which condensation reaction is used for the synthesis of cinnamic acid nothing but your perkins condensation see the reaction benzaldehyde reacts with acetic anhydride in the presence of sodium acetate finally it gives alpha beta unsaturated acid nothing but your cinnamic acid coming to the mechanism Coming to the mechanism, the mechanism involves in two steps and the first step is formation of carbanion. How there is involved formation of carbanion is here we are using aliphatic acid anhydride. For our convenience we have to write the aliphatic acid anhydride as C double bond O, O, C double bond O, CH3. It in the presence of CH3, COO minus. So which you can abstract and this H plus ion and finally the bond is shift towards this carbon atom and makes this carbon atom as negative. From where we are getting this CH3COO minus from sodium acetate. From sodium acetate 
we are getting this molecule CH3COO minus it will abstract this acetic alpha hydrogen atom nothing but acidic hydrogen and shift this sigma bond towards this carbon atom renders that carbon atom as negative and finally there is a formation of CH2 minus and remaining structure is same as it is we have to write C double bond O CH3 by abstracting CH3 COO minus it is converted into a CH3 COO H nothing but an acetic acid which is the one of the byproduct here and this is nothing but an carbanion and step 2 is nothing but attack of carbanion to carbonyl carbon and Next step is step 2, attack of carbanion which is generated from the step 1 to carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde. So first write down the benzaldehyde structure C6H5, C double bond O H. This is the structure of benzaldehyde. So what is the formed carbanion from step 1? CH2 minus C double bond O O. C double bond O CH3. This is the carbanion which is generated from step 1. So how will react with this molecule is the carbonyl carbon always the pi bond is shift towards an oxygen. If it is shift towards oxygen gets negative charge, carbon gets positive charge. Then the negative charge of this carbanion will move towards this positive center and club both the molecules. So how it combines here is C6H5 very very simple to add these two molecules CH here O minus and next one is remaining structure this is the first structure C6H5 CH O minus and write down this structure CH2 C double bond O O C double bond O CH3 this is the final molecule we are getting this molecule undergoes a protonation it undergoes a protonation addition of a proton which is available in our reaction mixture by the dissociation of sodium uh, acetic acid and finally the H plus ion is moves and attacks this oxygen atom and finally write down the product as C6H5 CHOH CH2 C double bond O O C double bond O CH3 this is the enol form we are getting and next step is what happens is it there is a dehydration will occur between this molecule the OH is lost as an OH minus and finally the H plus is lost here with the formation of double bond and finally write down the final product by the loss of water it forms C6H5 CH double bond CH C double bond O O C double bond O CH3. We are generating alpha beta unsaturated acid anhydride. And this we only require an acid, right? Just simply it undergoes a hydrolysis. So how it undergoes hydrolysis? This is the breakdown of bond here. So in the presence of an water. So water consisting of an H plus and OH minus ions. So finally the OH minus ion will attack this carbon atom. The H plus will attack this oxygen atom. And finally there is a formation of two molecules. And one molecule is C6H5 CH double bond CH C double bond O and attach this OH. And along with another one is CH3 COOH. These are the two products we are getting. So what is the name of this molecule? Alpha beta unsaturated acid is nothing but a cinnamic acid. One product is cinnamic acid and the one is an acetic acid. These are the two products we are getting. And see the mechanism. And the first step is nothing but formation of carbanion. How there is a formation of carbanion? The first there is a dissociation of sodium acetate as CH3COO- which acts as base and it will abstract alpha hydrogen from acetic anhydride. And finally it forms a carbanion. The obtained carbanion will attack the a carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde and finally write down the reaction first write the structure of benzaldehyde and this is the carbanion how it uh, combines for pi bond is shift towards oxygen then carbon gets positive charge the negative charge of carbanion will attack this positive center and write down the clubbed product simply first it undergoes an addition of a proton nothing but a protonation and finally uh, write down the enol form so it undergoes a next step is dehydration 
what is dehydration loss of water so remember that one molecule one atom from this carbon atom there is a loss of oh from this carbon atom there is a loss of h plus with the formation of double bond here and there is a generation of alpha beta unsaturated acid and hydride this again undergoes a hydrolysis just undergoes a hydrolysis and finally there is a breakdown of this acid anhydride into n two acids acid anhydride always formed by the collapse between two acids one is cinnamic acid and other one is an acetic acid so what is the final product in perkins condensation is nothing but a cinnamic acid thank you